Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Cowan coming to you from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. Thank you for coming back and watching my podcast called Right Service, Write Your Own Paycheck, The Path to Making $100,000 a Year, because as I'm recording this, 20% of people that are writing service in the automotive industry, whether they're working at a dealership or a chain store, an independent, 20% of you are making $100,000 a year. And if you are, I'm going to show you how to make that, make even a little bit more than that. And if you're not making that amount, I will definitely show you how to do that. You remember we're in the middle of a series here, or somewhere in, the, in, a, in a series here, where we're talking about the mistakes that service advisors make that I see. And you'll also remember from the, the past few weeks that we decided to talk about this because in my workshops that I do, uh, we, we talk about some of these mistakes, and there's been several of you in the workshop say, boy, man, if you could get that on tape and get that on a podcast so I could show it to my staff, that would be great. So that's what we're doing. So this week, I've got one that I really believe is going to really resonate with a lot of you and be very, very valuable to a lot of you, and here's what it is. One of the biggest mistakes I see service advisors make is they don't ask for future business. Now, let me repeat that. They don't ask for future business. They just assume that because somebody came in today and we got everything accomplished that you wanted to accomplish, that you're going to think I'm a great guy and you're going to come back and see me forever. And when you leave things in the wind like that, you really set yourself up for maybe they come back, maybe they shouldn't. So we've discovered that the best way to get people to come back and see you is to simply ask them to come back. And what you're going to see here is nothing new. I mean, your dentist does this. When you go to see them. They'll set up an appointment for you to come back and see them in six months or a year for your next teeth cleaning, right? Uh, when you go get your hair cut, assuming you're going to a, a, a one of the more professional places, uh, they'll st at the end of it, they'll ask you when you want to come back and they'll set up a date and time for you to come back. Your doctors do that and so many other people do that as well. And I think you should as well because when I share with you, and you will too here in a minute, because when I share with you how simple this is to do, number one, and then I share the stats with you, the percentage of people that come back by you doing these very simple techniques, you'll see too that it's a smart thing for you to do. So if, you, so if you're working on a service drive today, you have to understand that the biggest sell you have to make is you every time you step in front of a customer. The other thing you have to do is sell the people not only on you, but coming back for everything that you offer. What you want to do is you want to sell yourself out. You want to get yourself set up so you never have to depend on your company, whoever that is, your company, your boss, getting people to walk through the door for you. You want to make that happen yourself. You want to sell yourself completely out. And it's really pretty simple to do. And I'm going to give you one of the techniques that makes that easy. So what you're going to use is one of two techniques. Now the first one I'm going to share with you is a technique that I've used for years and years and years. Got a lot of data on this and it's simply called the next visit. This should be the absolute minimum that you should do every time a customer visits. Don't assume again that your customers are just going to keep coming back. Be aggressive and try to get the next visit set up for them. So here's what you're going to do. The last thing before they leave. Now, now they, they, you've, you've worked on their car today, they're here, you've cashed them out, uh, they've, they've given your autograph and everything they need to give the autograph, and they're just about to get in their car and drive away. This is the, one of the, this is the last thing you're going to say to them, uh, one of the last things you're going to say to them, and here's what it is. Now, to make this work, you really, I really strongly encourage you to have a printed menu, a printed service menu. Again, this is one of these things we've reached in, in time where everybody thinks they don't need these printed menus anymore because we've got an iPad or it's on the computer or I can email it, I can text it, I can do all this stuff. And you can, and you probably should. But the absolute best thing to have when you use this next te technique is a copy of a menu, printed menu that you can hand to them because here's what you're going to do. You're going to hand it to them and you're going to say this, all right? Mr. Customer, I want to give you this preventative service menu, and you remember it for, uh, uh, from this morning when I went over, uh, over it with you discussing what you need to have done today. Well, I want you to take this one with you, and you hand it to them, okay, and they'll take it from you. I want you to take this one with you because I want you to notice what I've done. Number one, I've circled when you'll be due to come back in based off the mileage on your vehicle, and it would be at that, that mileage right there. I also want you to see what we'll be doing, and I've circled that as well, so that you're prepared when you get here, all the things we're going to do. I want you to know that that particular service is one that takes the better part of the day to get taken care of, so you want to plan on leaving the vehicle with us for the day. Now, time out. I say that to everybody. 
I want everybody to drop off their vehicle and then go about their business because we all know that waiters that sit around become problems very, very quickly. So I tell everybody, one of the things I wanted you to see was this is one, this is a service that takes the better part of the day. So plan on leaving your vehicle with us for today. And I also wanted you to see down there at the bottom what your participation will be. I, I, I wanted you to have this so again, you're prepared for when you'll be due to come back, what you'll be coming back for, the time it takes, and what your participation as far as the fee structure goes. Now I'd like for you to do me a favor. I'd like for you to give me a call one or two weeks before you, before you need this service and you're reaching that mileage. That way we can get you in on a date and time that works best for you. And, and if you would, when you call in to schedule that, if you'd ask for me, I'd really appreciate that because I want to be the person that helps you with this vehicle for as long as you own it. So Mr. Customer, can I count on you to call me? Great, because you can always count on me to make sure that you always know what you're going to need before you need it. That way when you get here, there's never any surprises. I will talk to you in a, in a few months. That little word track right there should be the absolute minimum that you say. Absolute minimum. Now here's what happens. Check this out when you do this. When you do that, the first cycle through, now when I say cycle, here's what I mean. Um, according to the National Automobile Dealers Association, a customer will visit you uh, on average uh, two and a half times. I don't know where the half comes from, but two and a half times. But for today's purposes, we're going to say they visit you about once every, every three months, which seems, or once, uh, or three times a year, three times a year, because that seems to be a, a little bit closer to what we're seeing when we go into places. So three times a year. So every time a customer comes in, and then they come in the next time, that's a cycle. So the first time they come in and you do this, here's what I'm getting to. You say that little word track, 51% will call you a week or two ahead of time to schedule them coming in and they will ask for you because you asked them to. The second cycle through, because see you're training your customers, this is the way to go, right? The second cycle through, so they come in, they do that 51% the first time, the second time they come in, that number will jump to 63% and then the third time it will jump to 68% where it seems to ho hover, 68%. So think about that. Nearly seven out of 10 customers that you work with today, if you simply ask them, to come back and tell them what they're coming back for, when they're coming back, how much time it's going to take, uh, what, what the fee structure is going to be, and ask them to ask you. Uh, and inside a year, 68% will show up and get everything you ask them to buy. That's a tremendous number if you just do that. You know, we get some pushback on this. People say, well, you know, I don't want to be pushy to my customers. Or I've got, you know, I don't want to do that to them. What are you talking about? I mean, you build up a lot of value with your customers, so you should cash in on it. You're not hurting them. All you're doing is doing what your doctor does. All these other professions, your doctor, your dentist, the hairstylist, and all these other people. You're just simply telling them when it is they need to come back and what they need to come back for. 68% inside a year, 51% the first time. I mean, so think about it. If you do that now, your customers are coming in three times a year. That means four months from now. So what are we in? We're in March, April, May, June, July. In July, when you wake up the first of the month, half of your income's already made because you know half those people are coming back in and buy everything that you said that uh, you told them that they needed to buy. I mean, from a manager standpoint, a business owner standpoint, just think of how you can you can schedule stuff, you can plan on, you can you can forecast. And within a year, seven out of ten. So so by the time you get back to March next year, seventy percent of your income's already made because you've asked these people to come back. But there is something you can do to, to spike those numbers. And I'm going to tell you what that is here in a second. But before I do that, I got to tell you about two things. Number one, you got to get signed up for my workshops, folks. These things are insane. The numbers we're getting from these, the excitement that they're getting, and people are walking out of these things, going back and getting increases like we've never seen before. I've got three of them coming up, one in, one in Houston coming up in April. I've got another one in uh, May that we're going to do in Washington, D.C. And then next September, we're going to go up to, our, uh, to Canada, our good friends up there in Toronto and do a workshop there. You got to get signed up for one of these. It's called the Six Step Road to Service Department Success. I personally will be there teaching these classes. All right. Uh, and what we're going to show you how to do is get the al al absolute maximum sales you can get, uh, both in hours per repair order, effective labor rate, and gross profit. We're going to show you how to get perfect, yes, I said perfect survey scores. And we're going to show you how to get your customer retention above 86, 85, 86% within nine months. We're going to show you how to do all that stuff. This is for first timers. This is for people who've been in the business for a while. It's for veterans. It has the latest and greatest content to make you the absolute best you can be. If you're serious about being the best you can be, you want to make $100,000 a year, sir. 
service advisors. This is the two-day workshop, bar none, the best one you can go to. Now, here's, here's what we're going to do. Because some of you write in and say, my boss won't pay for this or my business won't pay for this. If you want to pull out your own credit card, I have a special deal for you to get into this. Money will not keep us apart. If you're a business owner, what are you waiting for? Why are you letting all the competition steal your business? If you want your people to be the absolute best they can be, therefore making you the absolute best you can be, get them signed up for one of those workshops in Chicago. Washington, or Chicago's already done. Uh, Houston, Washington, D.C., or Toronto. Or, at the very least, buy this book. Okay, and the companion video that goes along with it. Write service, write your own paycheck, the path to making hundred thousand dollars a year. You can get either get signed up for those or get this book by simply going to automotiveservicetraining.com, automotiveservicetraining.com, and we can get you signed up, or you can simply dial 1-800-248-2931, 1-800-248-2931, and anybody who picks up that phone, get you registered for those workshops, or get you one of these books, or the video program, and for the books, you can also go to amazon.com. So there's the commercial, so we're back to what we're talking about here, and one of the mistakes I see service advisors make is they don't, uh, they don't ask customers for future business, and we've given you one technique to get that back, it's called the next visit, we went over a word track. You're going to say the last thing you're going to say before they leave. And we shared with you that the first time you do that, 51% of the people do what we told you they'd do. 63% by the second time, 68% for a topper the third time. But I also told you there's something more we can do to spike those numbers. And here's what it is. It's called the proactive next visit word track. Now, you're going to see here in a second it's called the proactive next visit word track because we're going to be proactive. So how does this one work? happens the same time. It's the last thing you're going to say to the customer before they leave, and you're going to say everything that we did before. So let's kind of back up here, all right? And so let's, let's go back to what we said before. Mr. Customer, there's one more thing I need to cover with you before you go. I want you to take this, this uh, uh, preventive maintenance schedule uh, with you. It's just like the one we were talking about this morning. Remember, I went over this to discuss with you what you need to have done today. Well, I want you to take this one with you because I want you to see I've circled the next mileage you're due to come in because that's when you'll be coming in. I want you to see what we'll be doing when we come in. It's all those things listed there. I want you to know that particular service takes the better part of the day, so you'll want to plan on leaving the vehicle with us for the day. That way we're not rushed and you're not, you're not r rushed as well. And I also wanted to see what your participation is going to be, meaning the, the fee, so you're prepared when you get here. Okay, so we're going to say it just exactly like we did before, but here's where it's different. Here's where we get proactive. That said, Mr. Customer, I also wanted to offer you a service that I personally provide to all of my customers, and here's what it is. I've discovered that you're putting about, uh, uh, about uh, 2,000 miles a month on your vehicle. That being the case, that means you're going to be due to come back in here in about four months. That's going to be what, um, and you always count it out like this. Uh, so it's March now, so it's April, May, June, July. Uh, so July. Today being the, the 26th, it seems like the end of the month works best for you, and it seems like Wednesdays work best for you. So last Wednesday of the month in July, it's going to be July 28th, and it seems like 8 o'clock works best for you. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down that on July 28th, that, that you're going to be coming in at 8 o'clock in the morning for these services. And now here's what I'm going to do. I want you to take this little note card with you with that date on there against July 28th, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a Wednesday. You're going to come back in. We're going to do these services. You're going to leave the vehicle with us for the day. But here's what I'm going to do in addition to that. About two weeks prior to that date and time coming up, July 28th at 8 a.m., you're going to get a note card from uh, the business here reminding you of that service. Now, time out. When I say note card, you don't need a big letter or anything fancy, just like a little postcard will work. Okay, that's all it has to do with the date and time on it to address to them. Okay, you're gonna get that from the business here reminding you of that service. Two days prior to July 28th at 8 o'clock, you're going to get a phone call from myself or somebody here at the business reminding you of that service. If any time between now and July 28th at 8 o'clock you find that this isn't going to work, simply call me. We'll move, the, we'll move the time slot up or back, whatever is convenient for you, because we want you to get in when you can. If I don't hear from you after that second phone call, I will assume that you're going to show up on July 28th, which is a Wednesday, 8 o'clock in the morning. So, Mr. Customer, I appreciate your business today. Again, take that with you. Put it in your, note, put it in your notes. Watch for that note card, listen to my call, and we will see you. If I don't hear from you again, we'll see you on July 28th, 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, here's what this does. Now, first and foremost, uh, check this out. Notice I said we'd call them two days before July 28th. Some people say, well, why not the night before? Here's why. If I call them the night before and they can't make it, they call me the next day, I've got an open slot. But by doing it two days ahead of time, here's what happens. You'll get phone calls like this from people who can't make it. Now, follow me on this, all right? It's a little tricky. Jeff, I just wanted to call you today based on the message you left me yesterday concerning my scheduled check-in time for tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I can't make it. What's the deal? I now have 24 hours to fill that spot up and me being an expert, the best 
service advisor they've ever met, maximizing the opportunity, I'm going to fill that slot up. That's why I want to do that. But let's check out what being proactive does. By you being proactive and sending out a note, by, by saying this, number one, and then sending out a note card about two weeks prior to, and then calling them two days before, here's what happens. The first cycle through, 62%. First cycle through, 62% of the people will show up. Second cycle through, 78%. So already above the other one, right? 78%. And then the third time, it jumps up to right around 83 to 86%. 86% if you're really doing everything right. 83% though, third cycle through. I mean, just think about that. Four months from now, July, you wake up and over eight out of 10 of the people you asked to come back a year from now, I just said July, but I mean a year from now, a year from now, 83% of those people are showing up, okay, and buying everything you said to buy. All right, now, now, uh, I mean, this is astounding. It's just as simple as that. You look more professional because you now look like what a doctor would do, a dentist does, your hairstylist does, all those things. The, your people like it because they can count on it. They can add to their schedule. It's not a surprise. They're planning on it. There's no surprises when they get here as far as how long it's going to take or what the, what the fee structure is going to be. They just simply come in and lay down and then check this out as you walk around the car and use the rest of the process. If there's new other things they need, you can add that on and they buy that. Your customers will love this. I mean, if you go full bore, 80 83 to 86% right there. Now, just one thing I want to clear up. I told you that if you come to my workshop, I'll show you how to get your customer retention at 86% within nine months. This is only a small part of the solution. There's other steps that you can do to make that even happen quicker if you, if you want to come to those workshops. But if you want to do this, you want to get more customers, you want to make sure that you're sold out every day and customers come in and they don't fight you, they lay down, they give you the money because they're prepared, use the next visit. And if you really can, use the proactive. I mean, it's what all the pros do. These people making $100,000 a year doing the job you're doing right now, that proactive next visit, that second one we did, this is one of the techniques they're using among the many others that we teach. So there you go with the, this week's message. I know you're going to enjoy it because I, the reason I know you're going to enjoy it is because you're going to use it and you're going to see that it works exactly the way I said it would work. And why do I give you techniques that work? Because I want all of you to make $100,000 a year or more writing service. Why, why not? If you can be there 10 hours, why not maximize the opportunity? Get signed up for one of these workshops. Hey, my name is Jeff Cowan. I have a company called Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk, and we work with service advisors and service managers, making them the absolute best they can be, getting them the highest sales, perfect survey scores, and the highest retention. And so I appreciate you listening. I'll see you next week. Between now and next week, I want you to do me two favors. Number one, I want you to have a happy Easter. It's Easter weekend. And if you're on spring break, enjoy your spring break. The second thing I want you to do is go out and get as many customers as you can. I want you to work with those customers. I want you to present what you've got to those customers. I want you to sell them. I want you to collect a commission. And I want you to live the life you so deserve because between now and next week, that's exactly what I'm going to do. See you soon. Hope to see you in one of those workshops. Again, Houston, Washington, D.C., Toronto. Can't wait to get there. See you soon. Take care. Happy Easter.